Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again. And uh, this one ain't a lesson. It's just to put a movie on notice if brothers haven't seen it yet. And uh, what inspired me was Elder Apostle Rumlob when he did this lesson earlier and I just got around to watch it, all right? And it's a very edifying lesson, you know, dealing with the accounts with Yahweh Shai, you know, healing, uh, healing Israelites from unclean spirits, you know, you know, he pulled out a lot of precepts and, and, and uh, to understand the uh, times in which were going on back then when Yahweh Shai walked the earth, you know, and power was given to the disciples and they was casting out demons, you know, and sometimes they couldn't. And uh, Yahweh Shai said, ye of little faith, you know, and uh, what brothers could do to fight against these demons is to fast and things, you know, it's very edifying. So I advise brothers to go watch. You know, watch the whole thing. But uh, let me play just a second of it with Apostle Ramla speaking. Send us into the swine that we may enter into them. And forthwith, Yahweh Shai gave them leave. See, they couldn't go until Yahweh Shai gave them the authority. And this is before Yahweh Shai was crucified and everything put under his feet. And they were still subject to Yahweh Shai. And the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea they were about 2,000 and were choked in the sea see so they ran into the sea so Yahweh Shai by, by prayer and, and telling these uh, spirits to come out of the man you know they, he commanded them to come out of him and this is the same power that he gave to his disciples you see so now I've got a couple more streets. All right, so you heard it. You heard it, you know, and that's just one account. What, uh, when he was going over this lesson, I was thinking about the movie, which is the movie called The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. And I actually seen this movie about a week ago, I think when it first came out. And uh, I believe this is part three. I believe there's a part one, part two, part three. Uh, I think I saw the other ones, but I'm not sure. But this one I'm very familiar because I just seen it. And uh, a lot what Apostle Ramla was saying was actually going on in this movie here. So it's a good watch. You know, if brothers want you got downtime, you know, you want to watch a movie, you know, it's a, it's on the dark side, all right. But look, we're, we're men who of righteousness striving in this truth toward Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know. So, you know, watching it, it's on the dark side. You know with uh spiritual wickedness but this is why we're here to learn learning the power of the lord and how the lord control all spirits you know and everything that consists dealing with wickedness and unclean spirits man all right we're in sinful flesh so you know you could give it a, a watch it's pretty good you know exorcist is uh gruesome a little bit but you know it, with, with the spiritual eye you know, the scripture is going to come in mind, you know, and a lot of the accounts with Apostle Ramla was just going over, you know, demons uh, being passed off to uh, other individuals once leave, once left the, uh, the, the host that they was in, you know. So, you know, that's all I wanted to uh, bring up was this movie. So what I'll do is let's go into the word conjuring. All right. Conjuring. And a quick Google search, it says the performance of tricks, which are seemingly magical, typically involving sleight of hand. You know, conjuring, this is sort of like a magician, in which they're trying to say sleight of hand, you know, performing magic tricks. But uh, let's go into the etymology. And the etymology root word for conjuring is con uh, conjure. And it says, command on oath. It says, summon by a sacred name invoked by incantation or magic all right and this is what um this is what the dark side the left hand side do you know starting with esau edom all right they uh 
they play upon this word conjure, which is the conjure of spirits. All right, command and oath. You know, mainly today, what you see is, you know, they make an oath. They make a pact with, with, with the left hand side. All right, depending on what spirit it is. You know, whether it's unto Satan or other high powerful demons that the Lord set up on the left hand side. And it says summoned by a sacred name. Because normally in the movies, what you see them doing is always saying some certain name. You know, I remember back in the day growing up, there was a thing called Bloody Mary. You know, if you went to the bathroom and cut the lights off and say Bloody Mary three times, something would happen, you know. But uh, also, too, I remember a couple of years ago, there was, uh, I believe it was Beyonce. Uh, before her performance, she was chanting a certain word, you know. And that's the summons that demon, the conjure that spirit. So when they perform, they could not be themselves. They could do things that, that they know they couldn't do normally. All right, so conjure, command an oath. You know, they make an oath. Uh, I believe the rappers, what was the oath called? Um, I know the doctors make a, Hippocrat a hypocritic hypocritical oath, but rappers and entertainers, they make a, uh, a bargain with, 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 with Satan. Uh, I can't think of the, the actual name for it, but it says command an oath summoned by a sacred name invoked by incantation or magic, all right, dealing with witchcraft, all right. It says conjure, invoke, conjure, and directly from the Latin conjure, to swear together, conspire. All right, I didn't know if I was saying the word right, which is which is a Latin word, and I'm gonna just click here for pronunciation. Coniurare. 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 And I, in the English, it means conspiracy. Conspiracy. All right. So that's why you get you get uh, to swear together, conspire. This is where you get the conspire from, from the Latin conurare, to swear together, conspire. Uh, from assimilated form of come with together. All right. To swear. So basically, this movie Conjuring, which was the conjure of spirits, a saint, a demon, you know, I'm gonna tell the movie, you know, but you'll see by watching this movie, you know, after watching Apostles Rum Live video, you will see it, man. You know, for you brothers that are fairly new and that don't really understand everything yet, you know? So that's basically the point. I just wanted to bring this movie up. I wanted to make a quick lesson, a quick, quick show on it, I guess. Lord willing, I pray you edified, you know, you know, pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, every day, man, you know, pray, you know, for strength, you know, we want to pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, for strength, because we need it to fight in this wicked world, this wicked society we live in, in this sinful flesh. King David said, created me a clean heart, renew a right spirit within me, you know, every time you wake up and you go about your day, you're tainted, you know, you're not, uh, you're, you're sinning, you know, not willingly, but you're tainted, you know, so, so we're not in our perfect form yet, but we're striving for righteousness each day, and we need the Lord, you know, to give us that helping hand to get us through this wicked shit, man, you know, because you don't want to fall victim to the left hand side and letting Satan trick you, you know, trick you out of your salvation okay trick you into getting it, getting yourself into trouble we got to fight you know your own emotions you got to learn how to channel your energy you know channel your energy and and, and uh channel it in righteousness toward your how about shimmy i was shy because it's the lord that fight our battles you know and that's why you know scriptures say don't offend the Lord little ones because that's very serious he said if, if uh, you know if so they should wrap a millstone around their neck and basically go drown themselves roughly paraphrasing which is to pervert them you know which is to turn them away from the Lord's gospel all right so for those who who uh, who uh, offend the Lord little ones 
and turn them away from the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Y'all in for it, man. You know? So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutation to the Lord's elect. Shalom.